Hello, welcome to Technically Analytics. Today we're going to be discussing Mason Miller. He's a pitcher that plays for the Oakland Athletics. He throws right-handed. He's 25 years old and he just had his first season in the MLB. Now we're going to talk about why Mason Miller is potentially going to be a very good closer uh, in the coming years here. Now you can see from his career stats, he started out in, you know, rookie ball. Did pretty okay, not bad. A lot of strikeouts per nine. He started, he only started two games, three games. So, you know, you take that with a grain of salt. And then in in double A, single A, triple A, he kind of went up a few a few leagues very fast because he was pretty dominant. Uh, and he kept being dominant. I mean, he got more starts. Six six, six starts had uh, sixteen strikeouts per nine, which is pretty crazy. A lot of strikeouts. 25 strikeouts in six games, which is a lot. Uh, you know, not too bad on the hits, not not great on the homers, but okay. Good whip. And then in double A, he did seven games, started again, similar stats, went a little bit lower with the step up in competition. But overall, pretty good. So the A's, of course, called him up in 2023 to start to start uh 10 games or to start six games and he he played in 10 games in total i think he he started out as a starter and then he changed to being like a closer in the bullpen they switched him to like the bullpen role and he did okay for you know only a small sample size he struck out 38 people 1.2 whip 6.5 hits per nine 0.5 home runs per nine 4.5 4.3 walks per nine and 10 strikeouts per nine so that's not too bad i mean considering that he only played in 10 games and it was a combination of like starting and closing of course so yeah it's not bad um but we're gonna look a little bit deeper his ratios so you can see compared to the average in mlb he's well below average in home run rate above average in strikeouts and above average in walks which is not good you want to have the walks a bit lower and you can see his his batting against Hit when hitters got a hold of the ball, they got a hold of it pretty good. So that means with a high walk rate and then you know a high bet against, that means that his his command and his location is probably what's holding him back at this point. So yeah, that's what you can take from that. And then for his his pitch arsenal, you have four seamer, slider, cutter, changeup, and you can see the how much he threw each of these and all the statistics on him about 98 on the fastball 85 on the slider 94 on the cutter 90 on the changeup now he uses a lot of similar but different he uses a technique where you throw two pitches kind of like opposite of each other but from the same arm slot so they go different ways but even though they're going they come out of the arm the same they're going a different way and in, in terms of how the batter sees it so that's what that's why they're kind of similar velocities especially the four seamer and the cutter and the slider and the changeup. And you'll see that we'll see, we'll explore that a little bit more later, but you can see that his, his most effective pitch is, is pretty much his, his slider and changeup because those are the ones that he tricks batters with basically, because it comes out of the same arm slot. So, and it moves in a different way than you would expect because he throws them the fastball the most to kind of, you know, train them to think it's coming one way, and then he throws another pitch to, uh, and he throws the slider or change up to, to change it up a little bit and make it, make it different, make it different than it was before. So that's basically, and you're gonna see this in a second uh, with, with the charts and stuff. So in the graphs. Uh, so looking at run value, you could see his most effective pitch is his fastball slider and then change up and then cutter was at least effective, but that's probably because he wasn't locating it properly. And you'll see that in a second too. Uh, and you can see all the numbers here, his whiff and K on the, on the cutter 20, 20% whiff, 10% K 7.7% put away, but you can see his slider 25% put away 43% K, which is one of his better pitches. And the fastball was probably setting that up. So let's get right to the location. So the location is, is looking like this. You have this fastball kind of going upper in the zone. You can see like upper in the zone and then his slider is kind of down and away, depending on where, you know, depending on where he aims it. He, you can see he's kind of sporadic. He's not 
precise with it exactly. And then the cutter, he kind of throws it on the side of the zone, on the inside or outside, depending on which way the batter's facing. And he, he tends to miss up, it looks like, or down sometimes. So he's kind of all over the place. And same with the changeup. Even though he only threw 30, pitch, 30 changeups, kind of all over the place. Most of them out of the zone. And then some of them are just meatballs. So you see the pitches that are kind of similar in spin. It's the cutter, uh, changeup, and fastball that are similar. And then the slider is the different pitch. So that's what I'm saying about arm angle. Is like comes out of his arm the same way. And then the spin is the same for, for three of the pitches and then it's different for the others. That's why the cutter is probably less effective because it, it looks the same as the as a fastball. But it's not maybe he doesn't he doesn't locate it as well basically if you remember back to the thing. He doesn't locate as well as a fastball. So that's probably why it's less effective. And then the spin the movement of it is like I said different and similar because the changeup, fastball, and cutter are all similar and go in a similar direction as all as each other. The fastball doing the most movement in the slider, the changeup and cutter not doing as much as the fastball, but as the slider goes a totally different direction. And because it comes out of the same arm angle, it's hard for hitters to pick up on which pitch is which, especially if they don't recognize the spin immediately or if they don't, if they just, if they're getting if they've already seen a slider maybe first and he does a fastball, then it's like, well, then, you know, you have to, it's up to the hitter to figure that out. So this is in turn why I think Mason Miller is going to be a good, a good player. He's going to be a good pitcher. He just needs to develop his command a little bit and get more consistent innings and stuff like that. And I don't know if the A's is the best team to develop him, but you can be rest assured that once he does develop, he's going to be uh, in probably traded away or or released by the team because that's what the a's do so yeah thanks for watching make sure to like and subscribe